A few hundred yards from me, there's marsh, a uh, protected wetland area up there. And uh, we look the other direction, well, there's a crowd of boats in front of me, but uh, out there is Cape Cod Bay. And right here I've got uh, got an Opflex pad that part of the shaky video. It's already soaked up about three quarts of used diesel fuel. And we had a tank spring a leak. We were able to get some Opflex in there. And uh, luckily none of this went in the water. It uh, didn't even go into the teak decks of the boat. So we're going to be able to wring out this pad, use it again. It's the uh, Opflex Mega Pad. It's got uh, embedded mesh to strengthen it. And uh, we're going to be doing some uh, real-world product testing right here, and it's working great. So uh, good job, Opflex. Here we are in Cape Cod with Gordon Stacy, who goes to Cape Cod Community College on a sailboat. And Gordon is illustrating the use of the Opflex mitt to clean up the engine compartment and the bilge uh, on the sailboat. And what he is doing is illustrating how Opflex can be used to remove oil and grease so it does not escape into the water. All right, again, I think another side benefit of this is, you know, just being a yacht, and a lot of people like to keep their boats nice. This gives you a chance to just reach in there, soak up the oil, and keep it from go going over the side so you keep the harbors nice and you keep your boat nice at the same time. So it's a really good product. I like it. I'm actually looking for some, some kind of solution like this because I spend a lot of time trying to keep boats nice. And Gordon, if you could hold up that mitt a little closer, that's, that's amazing how much oil and grease is coming out of a sailboat. Yep. And this is, you know, this is probably every boat in every harbor, so something to think about. Uh, yeah, a lot, I've been a marine mechanic for about six or eight years, and one of the things I've noticed is that a lot of ca contamination isn't from big spill, but it's from smaller boats, you know, just pleasure vessels and fishing craft that are out there, and they'll just get, you know, a couple little drops of oil a day off the engine, and then that sits, uh, and you know, there are catch pans, but it doesn't all make it in there, so it tends to get into the bill. And then it just gets pumped over more. Go ahead. Okay, so we've got the uh, we've got the fuel pad, we've got the Opflex pad here, and this was under the, this one was under, directly under the filter. And you can see it it dripped down into there. And it didn't even go through to the other side of the pad. And then this pad was just so, this fuel filter has been in place for probably at least the last 20 years. So this is actually just what it's soaked up underneath the filter that was already there. And I'm going to give it a good swipe. And you can see how much just comes right off, off of the wood. Wow. So the cumulative effect of everyone uh, taking a little bit more responsibility in, in changing fuel filters and cleaning up oil and grease in their engine rooms and bilges would be rather significant in uh, helping protect the environment and the water from impact. diesel filter just going to sit right on this Opflex. This thing's supposedly empty but look how much just comes out just like that. Yeah that's a and so what you've developed here Gordon is a safe procedure and protocol for removing fuel filters from boats and oil and grease from engine rooms and bilges to prevent any of it from spilling into the water. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to say what harbor we're at, but, you know, this is a small little tidal creek and goes out and goes out into a bay, so we're, uh, you know, any contamination that gets loose here is going to do a lot of damage. Well, we appreciate you uh, volunteering to do this, Gordon, because you've educated us a lot about just how much can contamination can come out from an engine room, a bilge area, and an oil filter every day from boats, whether sailboats or power boats. 
Alright, so it looks like we've got a little bit of a fuel tank leak here. It seems like the, uh, the tank itself is split. And uh, luckily, luckily we had the uh, fuel tank sitting on an Opflex mega pad. So even though the tank is leaking, it is not getting through to the other side. It's not seeking, seeping into the teak, and it's not uh, not going into the bilge water. So we really lucked out here. Uh, you know, Opflex uh, is saving the day right now because the fines for this would be astronomical, and we'd have to clean the whole boat to boot. So here we go. I'm going to pour this into another tank, and uh, it's a good thing we had an Opflex mat under there. Good, good.